Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kitchen organizational video. I've been meaning to clean out and organize my drawer and cupboard, literally one of both, because that's all the space that I have in here. They've just gotten super cluttered and kind of hard to find things. I don't really know what I have. And I found myself watching a whole bunch of videos on YouTube, which one, I think they're super interesting and very satisfying to watch. I noticed that pretty much everyone that's done one of these videos, it's like a pantry organization. I have very minimal space in my kitchen and I feel like a lot of you guys can relate. So if you guys wanna see how I organize my kitchen, then just keep on watching. So here is the before shots. This is my cupboard that I keep quite a bit of stuff in, as you can see here. I'll do a little pan for you. So on the bottom are all of my supplements and teas. On the second shelf, I keep lots of random baking stuff like spices, honey, vanilla, etc, etc. And then on the top, I have all of my protein powders and I'm not going to switch up that shelf too much. And then down here is my drawer that I have a lot of random stuff that needs to be situated. First order of business is to take everything out and this way you can see what you have. Make sure you check expiry dates and throw out anything that is expired. I ended up throwing out a bunch of stuff which helped with space. And then this also allows you to clean out your drawers. finish this one protein which helped with space up there I threw a spirulina up there that was in the drawer and then here is everything pulled out from the cupboard and drawer the next thing I did was make a list of everything that I had and everything that needed a jar or just how many baskets I might need I found this kind of hard but in the end I think I did an okay job I picked up pretty much everything at Dollarama except for this one jar at the front I found that at Walmart for 11 or 12 dollars and then I think I spent $35 or $38 at Dollarama. So altogether, everything cost around $50, which I don't think is too bad. And I also found these jars, which are very similar to some Ikea jars. I already have some of my spices in these, so I thought I'd pick up some more. They're a little bit different, but close enough that I think they look okay together. I also picked up four baskets, two larger ones and two smaller ones. I'm starting off with this big jar and I'm using it for my teas. I have a bunch of boxes of teas and since they're all individually packaged, I thought it was totally fine to throw them all together. You're still able to know like what type of tea it is. And I think this is great for saving space and it also looks super cute. I decided to use one of the larger baskets for my supplements because I have way too many supplements. Realistically, I probably should have thrown some of these away, but I just love having them. So I just organized them all in that. And then I'm using one of the smaller baskets for random things like honey, cocoa powder, vanilla. And then we're on to spices. So this is one of the IKEA jars that I had previously. Here's the dollar store ones. A little bit different but similar enough and then I also got this pen it's a sharpie paint pen I would recommend using the more fine tipped one I'll link it down below I was only able to find the thicker ones in a two-pack at Staples but these are a great alternative to labels especially if you like your handwriting I don't like mine but I still think it looks cute just like having the writing directly on the glass so I'm emptying all my spices that were in bags or those other little tins and just pouring them into these jars, labeling them, and I think they look so cute together. For 
For the pig jars, I use these for flour and sugar, rice, quinoa, chia seeds, all of those types of things, and I just use the same paint pen to label those. I use two of the baskets in the drawer, and in the big one, I just put lots of little bags of things, kind of an organized mess. I think it looks a lot better. And then there was still some space left on the outside of the basket, so I just used that for more random stuff, like icing sugar, I had a box of nuts, some rice cakes, and then in the small basket, I put all of my protein bars. So here is my drawer all organized, and then here is my cupboard. I love the look of things in jars, I just think everything looks more clean and tidy. So on the bottom shelf there is all my supplements and teas, and on the second one I put all of my jars, so my cooking stuff, my spices, and then I pretty much left the top shelf as it was. I just got rid of that one protein thing and added the spirulina. And then here is my drawer, so all of my protein bars, all of the miscellaneous little bags, and um, here are my like baking, other baking stuff, vanilla, honey, all of that, and just the random extra things. So I'll do a satisfying before and after shot for you here. so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know if you guys want more home related or organizational type videos and I'll see you guys all in the next video bye